We're here with Brandon McBride. Uh, Brandon, you're the defending champ, and the eight didn't quite get what you wanted. Um, but it seems like you came back and did a good leg on the 4x4. Four four. So, what are your thoughts overall about the day? Uh, to be honest, uh, third in the 4x4 four four means much more to me uh, than a win in the 800. I mean, uh, it's tough for me to motivate myself because, uh, you know, I've been here and done that. But, I mean, it, it means the world to me that we got third in the 4x4. Four four. And uh, it was a windy day today, so we decided to try something a little new. And, uh, I mean, and depending on how you look at it, I mean, you can look at it as, you know, I learned something, so it was a success, so, or you can look at it like I got sixth place, so it wasn't a very good race, but, you know, I learned something, I got better, so I'm happy with it, to be honest with you, I really am. Yeah, um, you know, before the race started, I turned to the buddy next to me, and I'm like, I was going to pick Brandon, but I think it's too windy, it's hard to lead in this type of thing, so I guess you guys kind of thought the same thing, but in hindsight, if you could do it all over again, would you try to just go lead in the wind? I mean, it's kind of unfortunate there's no stands there to block the wind when it's coming out of the north like that. Yes, that is true. That is true. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I would really change it. You know, honestly, I think uh, I made some errors tactically. So I think if um, I wouldn't really change how I ran it, but I would change a, a, a few moves uh, from the back or whatever that I didn't make or, uh, or I made. I don't know if you saw or not, but I was out in lane six trying to kick guys out. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was fun, but uh, hey, it was a great learning experience, you know. And it was at the end of the day, it's all about team, you know. And I think we uh, this was the second highest finish on the men's side, um, one of the highest finish on the four by four, uh, with our four by four team. And I mean, you got guys that you know they came out of high school running 48s, and all of a sudden they have an All American trophy. To be honest, to me that means much more than a title. So I'm just happy that uh, I was able to come out here and uh, really be a part of something so special. Right. Um, you definitely threw off your other competitors in the eight. They were yes. all like... <laughs> it was, I honestly, uh, the first 200, I was kind of, you know, I chuckled a little bit because I, everyone's looking around like, where's McBride? <laughs> you know, it was it was funny. You know, a couple of competitors came up to me and was like, oh, I was so confused. I was wondering where you were, if you pulled up or not. And I was like, no, you know, I was in the back for once. Uh, so it was interesting, fun at the same time. When's the last time you ran a race not in the front? Um... I honestly don't know. Healthy in a final, probably back in high school. You know, and even then it was it was a rough meet. Even then, <laughs> it was a rough race. But you know, I think moving forward, I, I need to start um, being able to race off slow paces. I mean, if I'm going to make the next step, I mean, we're not always going to be able to go out fast um, on a blazing hot pace. So uh, me and Coach agreed, and you know, he kind of gave me the green light, to, you know, to try what we tried and. You know, I, I learned, so like I said, I'm not really disappointed. You know, obviously, I think I could have made a few moves uh, or made a couple of better decisions uh, between four and six. But um, at the end of the day, you know, I'm happy. I learned something. And did you guys make the decision when you got to the track and saw it was windy, or did you decide that last night? Um, no, it was actually during the warm up. Um, you know, it was just crazy windy, and uh, coach came up to me and said, you know, it's one of those days, you know, I would love to be able to tell you to go out and try to run 144 and try to take the pace out, but uh, it's not that type of day today, so uh, we're going to try something a little different. We did, you know, but hey. And what's next? You're going to keep running and go? Yeah, uh, we have Canadian Championships. We have Pan Ams. Uh, I made World Championship uh, standard, um, so I'm pretty excited for that. I just have to uh, go, and I think I've got to be top three. Uh, for World Championships, and then um, I think Pan Ams are going to be selected uh, pre-Canadian uh, trials, so I, I'm not sure, really sure the standards and stuff on that, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a pretty exciting summer. Yeah. All right, well, good luck to you.